digging into the XJ. Let's see if I flooded it. See if my spark plugs are any good. I'm not sure if these are the right spark plugs. I'm not sure of anything right now. So uh, I'll have to verify that. But right now, you see they're a little dark, little black, little sooty. So it's probably a good time to clean these up and then make sure they're the right ones. So there's our first one. I'm going to clean this up with a wire brush, stick it back in, and uh, of course verify that it's the right one. Here's the first one, wire brushed, cleaned up, good as new. Now, let's see what we actually have here. Ugh, if I can get them out of here. All right. It's looking like a BP7ES. BP7ES. And it's NGK. So that's actually a pretty good plug if it's an NGK. And it's looking way better, so let's dig into the next one. I just hand tighten that down because I should probably check gap while I'm at it. I don't have that information in front of me. So the other thing I want to tell you, make sure you don't have any dirt floating around in these holes and around your plugs because you don't want the dirt going down into your chamber. You don't want dirt falling in your engine. So I blew it out first with air compressed air. Here's our number two. It's definitely wetter. I would say still clean and the gap looks a little close. So I'm gonna have to go check the gaps on these guys. Um, definitely wet, so I would say we definitely flooded her out. Here's number one, still very wet. Kinda looks like number three. And it's still BP70S and GKs. And our last one, number two, does look wet, but appears pretty clean. So we'll spruce this guy up, sorry, and uh, throw her back in. Here we go, new air filter is in. All we gotta do, take it out of here and drop it straight in there. Basically fits right down in there. And then we'll put the lid back on. Hopefully I didn't lose all my screws. I think they're all sitting in there. So I'll get that settled up. And then actually I'll probably, if I didn't lose all the screws for the box itself, there's one. One goes right there. That might be this one. And I think I took one out from the bottom, but I threw a battery in there. So maybe it's just the one screw. I'll figure that out, but uh, let's get her put back together. Look at that pretty air filter back in its place. Way better than the old one. If you don't remember, there's the old one. Nothing left of that guy. That's even falling apart itself. New one. We can put the lid back in there. Well, because I need to hear bikes running, here's the XJ750. Something's leaking again. What is leaking? Where is gas running out? Oh my goodness. I don't even know where gas could be running out of. It's not out of here. I thought this was a leak. What? Where is this gas running out of, guys? Ah, uh, I just wanted to hear this thing run. But I don't think I ever figured out. The carbs. What? What? Why? Nothing is wet up here. I don't see gas running down from anywhere. So, I got a battery. And it fits in that spot, which is not easy to do. Uh, and we have gasoline running out from the bottom. And now I got to get down there and see where this gas is coming from. Without laying on the ground, I don't see anything wet. I don't understand. Because if gas is going in here into the carburetor, How is gasoline getting the whole way to the bottom of the motorcycle 
without going through the carburetor. Oh, this makes no sense. I'm gonna have to investigate this, guys. Figure out where gasoline is running out the bottom. If a float is stuck, if a float is stuck open and not closing, I guess it could be going through. Into the cylinder. And then what? Running where? Where's it going? Uh, good news is she starts. I do have the gasoline off. She does start and run. I probably don't have the uh, choke on. But I can't tell where the gasoline was running out. So weird. So weird. All right, so she's running. If I turn the gas, will it start running out the bottom again? I probably need to turn the choke on a little bit. There we go. it's running out the bottom which is good